Hello everybody, welcome back to Crafting Chaos with Melanie and welcome back with Halloween. Um, I'm super excited to be here today and we, I finally, I finally, I finally got my IOD ink in. I'm excited. So we're going to use this today. Um, I was looking at my tree and I, my tree, it's pretty, I love it, but I think I need some brightness. So I need to pull in a lighter color. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a quick video. We're going to be using the IOD ink. We're going to be using some DIY paint. I have DIY paint and this is beadboard. I, I'm, yeah, beadboard. And I got this from Sonic Garden Blooms. I also have Big Top, which is um, a sealer. So we're going to be using that. I will tell you, whenever you're using a chalk paint of any kind, I believe I'm right on this. But I know with the DIY, you have to seal it because if you don't seal it, if anything wet gets on it, it's going to reactivate the paint. So it's kind of like a watercolor ink, I guess. Now, this is what I'm using today. You don't have to get this fancy. I just wanted to play with the products and see how I like them. And I'll just give you a little, I like them. I like them. Just, I, I will tell you, I like them. Okay. And I got these at the Dollar Tree and I've already done some. But I don't want to show you the front, so I'm just going to show you the ugly back. But I got these at the Dollar Tree, so I got one, two, three, four, five of these for a dollar twenty-five, and these have been in my stash. I don't know um, when I got these, but I'm sure they have something similar. Something else you could do if you have a Cricut, you could just cut some out. I, I honestly, if I hadn't had these, that's what I was going to do. But I had these. All right, so you need some leaves. And I will tell you on the IOD ink, the IOD ink comes, and this is a, a foam pad, I think. Anyway, it's white. There's no ink on it. And then when you order the ink, you order, it's the refills. So for each ink color you have, you have to get one of these. And I only got one for right now. I don't know why, because I got two ink colors. Um, I got black, which is what this is right here. And then I also got a gray, a stone gray. And I got this because I'm doing a cabinet in my um, kitchen. And I want to use this color on the stamping that I do. So I got the stone gray. I didn't want a crisp black, so I got stone gray. We're also going to be using some um, paint brushes. And I did get the DIY paint brushes. I don't know the name of these. Uh, I think this one is called the Perfectionist. I'll look them up and I'll make sure I'll link them down below. This one's called what I call the Mac Daddy. <laughs> this one's big. And I got these because I plan on doing some furniture. I don't plan on video in that. That might be a little short. Uh, like I said, this channel mostly is going to be paper crafting, but I I'm trying to incorporate this into paper crafting because I love it. And it's just kind of sparked a little bit of creativity. And I have to tell you, these paintbrushes feel amazing. And when I painted this one earlier, oh, the difference between this paintbrush and this paintbrush, unbelievable. And this is Art Mine. So this came from Michael's. Um, and this one I got from Milton's daughter. So I've kind of spread the love around on my bond frenzy of IOD and DIY. So there's been three stores that I've shopped from and the customer service has been really good. The shipping has been really fast and I'll make sure I link the three of those um, below um, in case you want to try this. So, you know, you never know. All right. So what are we going to do today? We're going to flip these over and I chose to do the back side. I don't care that this is like this because it's going to be hanging on my tree and it doesn't bother me at all. So the first thing we're going to do is give it a quick coat of paint and then we're going to dry it and then we're going to give it a second coat. Now the great thing about this paint, it dries very quickly. It's a quick drying paint. So all I'm going to do is get some on my brush and you don't need that much. Now, I am not a professional painter at all. There might be a trick to this. I don't know. I'm, any paint will do. If you have acrylic paint, if you have whatever, I wanted to do this. And man, I love this brush. I'll just tell you, I love this brush. And then I'm going to come over here and get the back, the sides of it. 
really like this brush. It just takes a little bit. A dab will do you when it comes to doing the sides here. Oh my goodness, the possibilities, the possibilities with some of this stuff that you can incorporate, just like the IOD. I keep talking about IOD, but man, guys, you can incorporate that into so much. I love them. It doesn't take my love away from my regular stampers and my regular companies that I buy my stamps from. I adore them and I will always be buying stamps from them. Um, but it just kind of opens the door to something bigger. I like the the real estate that you get with IOD. Okay, I'm just giving these a lick and a promise. That's pretty much already dry. So let's go in and we'll do the other one. And we're going to do two even coats on this. Doesn't take a lot. And now we're going to come here. A smaller brush would probably be better for the ends here, but we're going to go with it. So how's everybody doing? I'm jealous. My son's in New York right now, and I'm so jealous. I'm sure New York right now is just beautiful. I know the weather is, and I'm sure the trees will be turning very, very soon, but just the weather in general, that, that fall Christmas, crispness. All right. So we got that, guys. Looking at promise. So what I'm going to do where we're on camera I am just going to turn on my heat gun and I'm going to dry this paint real quick. It doesn't take long to dry. That's already pretty much dry. And we're just going to come in here and we're going to do a second coat. All right, so I'm just going to come in here and do an even second coat. And I just want to add some brightness to my tree. I just feel like it's dark, like it's dark. It needs, needs a little bit of brightness. All right, so let's come over here with this one. Do a little bit more paint. All right. Okay, and I'm just going to come on the sides on this because I did get too much paint. Guys, you can tell I'm, I'm learning this. I watch Sonnet Blooms, I think. Sonnet Garden Blooms or something on YouTube. And uh, I love watching her because she's so good. And she just paints. I mean, I'm sure she's been doing it for years, but she just, you know, goes in I messed this one up. There's nothing even about this. So we're going to go ahead and do this again and just do even strokes. And it doesn't matter that I almost feel like you could do another coat on this one for some reason. Maybe it's just the strokes. But it's okay because we're not done. By the time we're done, you're not going to see all that. Okay, so I am just going to close this up. And I wish I brought some water in here so I could clean that right out, but that's okay. All right, so now we have to get these dry. So let's get these dry. Now you want to make sure this is good and dry because we're going to be stamping on these. All right, pretty dry. That dries so quick, guys. Dry. Now this one's still a little bit wet. Okay, now this is where we're going to have some fun. Okay, oh goodness, something is definitely dry, wet there.
So I got a new tool in today that I'm so excited about. I had this huge box delivered today in the pouring rain, might I add. And I was like, what in the world is this? This box is huge. And Sissix released a new, like, all-in-one tool. It You can trim, you can score, you can make boxes, you can make envelopes. And, guys, this thing is gorgeous. And it is built so good. I can't wait to play with it. All right, so let's focus. What I want to do to these stamp sets is add some texture. So I brought in a couple of the IODs. Um, because I'm on an IOD kick. We both know this. I got Kindest Regards and I got Bella. Um, I used Bella earlier, so I'm not going to use this one. And I need to do a better job of cleaning my stamps. Look at that plastic. It's dirty. That's okay. All right. We're going to use Kindest Regards because it has script on it. And I really love the script. So any kind of background that you have would work here, whatever that you like. I really like this script and I just want to, you know, add a little bit to these and add a little, it just adds another layer, more textured. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this stamp, okay, and I'm going to take my IOD um, ink pad and I will tell you, I did use this, I did like how it inked. I felt like it did ink better than the archival, however... It's really saturated in ink because I had just filled it up. So we'll see. We'll see. I was really impressed with it. I have to say I liked it. I really did. All right. So I just, I'm taking my ink here. And I don't need a big piece because it's just a small leaf, right? And I'm going to leave it down like that. And I want to remember, I want my leaf to hang this way. So the writing needs to go. It's directional. I want the writing to go the right way. So I'm going to turn the leaf over and I'm just going to put it down without moving it. I'm going to get my impressible. Remember this tool come from maymaymadeit.com. These are handmade by a fellow crafter. Just love them. And you just press on it without moving it. So just go up and down. Okay. All right. Oh, look at that. Guys, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's just do a little bit more ink. Right? And put the lid on here. Set that to the side. And where's my other one? So I want to make sure I have it in the right direction. Guys, you could do this on anything. And like I said, you could have cut some leaves out with paper and do this. If you have any kind of backgrounds, you could do whatever you wanted on this. I just think these will be so pretty on my tree. Let me get this. I just really like using this. Okay. Let's see what we got. Look at that. Exactly what I wanted. Such a quick and easy project. Such a Now, I told you DIY is it's a chalk paint. I don't know the composition of a chalk paint, but I do know that you want to seal it because the water, any kind of moisture will get to it. It will reactivate the paint. Now the ink, however, the ink is permanent. This is permanent ink. It's not going anywhere, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, seal this. And I got DIY Big Top. It's a varnishing it's called Varnishing Act Big Top After the Show Top Coat Furniture Finish. So I'm going to use this. You could use Mod Podge. You could use whatever wax, whatever you seal your chalk paint with, whatever you use. And guys, this is liquidy. This is very liquidy. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to seal this. All right. And you know, all these ornaments that I've made for my tree... I did all new ornaments because I've always done a Halloween tree. And this year I wanted to do a legitimate fall tree. And I didn't really have a lot to put on my tree. So I made 90% of the ornaments on my tree are handmade. And I love them. They're beautiful. And I'll tell you, all these handmade ornaments, even the ones that I did with paper, I have some paper tags on there. Um, as long as you... Um, when you store them, wrap them really good, like in a tissue paper, and put them to where you know they're not going to get wet. They last. I mean, I have some Christmas decorations that have lasted 
15 years. Like, I'm serious. They, they do last. So don't think that because it's just a cheap ornament, it's not going to last because it is. All right, I'm going to put this to the side. Um, I do recommend when you're using these to have water handy. I didn't bring water in here. It's the one thing that I forgot, but I would definitely wash those just as soon as you can get them done. All right, so we're going to dry this. I'm going to bring in the heat tool and dry this. This dries really fast as well. This is just my embossing gun. Wow, it's pretty much dry. Guys, this dries fast. Love this. And you know, when you get these little things from the Dollar Tree, there's so much you can do with them. You could heat emboss on them. You could just paint them. Anything you want. Isn't it amazing what you can do with something that costs a dollar? Okay, so now we're going to tie some ribbon on these. And I'm just getting some of my, my raffia that I have here to the side. And we've, we've used raffia before. I love it. Look at my hands, how bad, guys. Look at that paint. I am such a messy crafter. I try to be neat. I watch May May and just like, I'm like, wow, she's so neat. Jennifer McGuire, they're so neat. Now, there's some crafters like me. They kind of work themselves in a corner. And no matter how clean my desk is, I am working myself in a corner. So all I did was just kind of loosen this up. You just want to loosen it up, pull it apart. And these make the prettiest bows, guys. They really do. All right. So I just want to make sure I have a lot, like at least six, seven strands of this because it makes a prettier bow. At least I think it does. All right. So let's just grab some of this. And we are going to make a bow. And if you can't make bows, you can make bows with raffia because I can't make bows. I'm horrible at it. But I make the cutest little bows with raffia. And it's just because of the texture, the texture of the, whatever you call this, the paper. See, look at that. That's a perfect bow. In my opinion, that's a perfect bow right there. Love it. And I'm just going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut that off. Now let's just pick up the pieces and we're going to make another one. How easy is that? Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, and now I'm just going to take this one and cut this one. You can trim these more. You can give them surgery. And the ones I made earlier, I need to bring... I have a smaller glue gun. I have so many glue guns, guys. Because in the day, when I first started hot gluing, I just bought those little cheap Dollar Tree glue guns. Literally, the glue, the glue gun was a dollar. Like, seriously. But this one, I love it because it's cordless and it's a lot easier to use. And I got glue right here and I don't want that glue there. Ugh. And we're just going to take that and we're going to glue our little bow. But the ones I did earlier with this big one, I get too much glue out. I need to see I got too much glue out on that. I'm just going to take this little spatula and get it off. The other one I let dry, so now I have a glob mess, so I'll have to get it off. But actually, it don't really matter because on the tree, you're not going to be able to see it. I'm the only one that knows it's there. All right, now I need some hangers. And all I'm going to do is just pull something that's easy to tie. I'm in here in my little... strings that I bought from Michaels and I just want something simple so I pulled this out I really don't like that cream against that though I'm trying to find some thin brown and I just don't see any thin brown oh well this is alright so all I'm going to do is cut it and I'm going to tie a knot That's it. That's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to do that to this side. And then we're going to tie a knot. That's all we're doing. Put some of this stuff up so you can see. Okay. Does anybody, any of y'all have a tree up? I keep a tree up year-round, and I love it. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I've had it now for seven years. I've done it and I adore it. All right. And I'm just going to take this and where's my little pencil that I use. Take that in there and then I put a bunch of hot glue on the back of this. All right. And just lay it, lay it down. I'm going to do the same to this. You're not going to see the back because it's hanging on my tree. All right. So I'm going to do that. All right. Okay. And these I'm just going to leave. Let's see if I can glue. That one's moving a little bit. Okay, we're going to leave these alone and let these dry. Okay, look at these. Oh my goodness. All right, we got that one and we got this one. Now these are drying, so I'm just going to lay these to the side right here because they need to dry really good and bring in the ones that I did. And here's the ones that I did earlier. And here is the one that I did with the other stamp set. Um, with this one right here, the Bella stamp set. And all I did was use the middle of this. I just, you know, put a little um, ink right there and used the middle of it. So what do you think, guys? I love those. Um, I'll do a little intake of them hanging on my tree so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, I hope you like these. This is so cool. And you can take this concept, guys, and do it with anything. It's nothing new. I just thought it would be fun to show you another way to use IOD, um, another way to use stamping. Um, stamping isn't just for paper. Um, you can do it on so many other projects. All right, these are dry now, so we can pull these in. All right, what do you think? I love these. I think these are so pretty. Let me get the glue out of the way. What do you think? Oh, I think those are so pretty. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, again, we use the IOD ink. Um, I like it. I do like it. I think that it's stamped beautifully. Um, I love that, you know, I have two ounces of ink refill and it's going to last me a long time. So um, I do need to get some more ink pads. I think I'm going to buy the red for Christmas. Um yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So, all right. Remember, if you like this video, to give it a like. Don't forget to um, comment below because we are doing another giveaway. October the 2nd, I believe that giveaway is. Um, and it's for comments on the videos from September 21st through uh, September 30th. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. Until tomorrow, I'll see you again. Bye. Hey, everybody. I thought I would come back in and show you these on my tree exactly what I wanted. Look how pretty those are. And look, here's our button pumpkin that we made. And there's the fall tag. We used that with a drop cloth and some DIY letters. Um, these are the ones that we just kind of spruced up. And right here we've got the tags that we made. And there's the apple tag that we made. Aren't these just so pretty? I love this. Look at that. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.